and how do you integrate the master data from ECC to EWM? Okay, it can be from S4 to EWM or else it can be ECC to EWM, but we are doing the master data integration. Why we need master data integration? Uh, then only we can uh, do the goods shipped or goods issue. Mm -hmm. Else the, the data will not be there. Uh, it, um, then while doing GR, there will be some issue will occur. Yeah. Generally, materials, as we know that it's already available in ECC. Yes. That material, end of the day, you are receiving it in EWM system. Because EWM is like a physical location, where ECC is not a physical location. ECC you are creating just PO, purchase order, inbound delivery, all those activities. But EWM is the part where you are receiving that material physically. Okay, if you are receiving that material physically, whoever is receiving that in the shop floor, shop floor means warehouse. They should know that which product they are receiving and how much of quantity they are receiving, to which plant they are receiving. So all those information should be known by the shop floor persons. So for that purpose, for that purpose the master data should be integrated to the EWM system so that everything will be in sync. EWM system. So from ECC, what are the main mass data that we that we need to integrate to EWM system? So the last class we have discussed about the plant. Now we will discuss about the shipping points. And storage locations and a three digit warehouse. Why this guy is pinging here? He's not able to join the classes. I'll give you the new links, okay, for you. So that I don't know what exactly issues are you, you guys are facing. I'll give you the new links, okay. Are boss, what is this person here? OK, so we are discussing about this one. So plan, shipping point, storage locations and the a three digit warehouse. So this thing, first of all, we will configure in system now. And after that, I will show you how can you integrate these values to EDM system. OK, OK. Art generally you will not be doing okay but you can you may be doing this activity for testing purpose or else any kind of you know uh, so in the lower systems you can perform this one uh, maybe the test systems or any sandbox or any kind of this when the system refresh happens maybe this activity will come to you okay maybe okay it's not like sure for you maybe this activity will come to you but most of the times you will not be doing this activity. Okay. So I open my ECC system. Okay, okay one, one more thing observe guys. If you are changing anything in these servers, it will impact for others also. Okay, be okay. cautious like you know what exactly you are doing. Even if you are doing small mistake also, you, as I as you mentioned that you know you wanted to change this color of the system. It will change for everyone, not only for you and me. 
Okay, oh. we are using the server. It'll change for everyone. Oh. And this not this the server doesn't it's not belongs to us. Okay. 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 So it's it's not our own server to change the colors and all. It's better not to do any kind of extra activities. Getting a server is very hard. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to SPRO SAP Reference IMG, which is implementation guide. So you can see the system here. OK, which system are you are in? It is 900 here, so it will be like ECC, but this will be okay. changing system to system. And if you go to company, company to company, this numbers and all will be changing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you are opening EDM system, it will be having different client number. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this is MM part. Okay. Uh, defining the planned shipping points, storage locations, and 3 gtv rows, whatever I mentioned here, it's a part of MM configuration. Okay. So, you can involve real time, you can involve an MM person if you are doing this activity, and if you have a test system, and if you know this activity, and you can do it. In case it is a test system, go to the enterprise structure, go to SPRO, SAP reference IMG, go to the enterprise structure here. In enterprise structure, go to definition. You are defining. There are two things here defining and assignment. Defining means what? You are defining the new values. Assignment means you are assigning that values to the respective values. In definition, go to the logistic general and if you see here there are four values are there so don't worry about all the four values you can see the second value you can see define copy delete check planned you can see copy also you can do here so just have like a new plant you can create a new plant copy delete check plant So I'm copying from thousand plant, okay, which is standard plant. You can even you can copy from thousand plant. Now I want to create a new plant, and the new plant naming convention is my wish. I want to give like uh, um, jet. Let me have like you know jet. Uh, 